Bethany. What's up, buddy? What are your thoughts on a special Canadian Tennessee United episode? I I like you Canadians. I I, I think that's a good idea. Who are you thinking of having on? It's thinking OJ Aliasin, Raonic, Andreescu, Bouchard, Dabrowski. That sounds like a fun group. Let's do it. But uh, who else do you got in the Rolodex for big time Canadians? I know you got someone. Steve Nash, Wayne Gretzky. Hall of Famers, that'll do. Welcome back to another episode of Tennis United. Vashik, it is Team Canada this week. What a contingent we got. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. We have uh, Milos, Felix, Jeannie, Bianca, Gabby, and then my good friend Steve Nash is joining as well with Wayne Gretzky. So that's going to be really, really cool. Um, I can't wait, yeah. I mean, this is like ca Canadian All-Stars right now. This is amazing. And what was even more amazing is that we got everyone linked in on time with their mics and headphones. But here's to a special Canadian edition of Tennis United. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so today we have a big group of players with us. I am surrounded by Canadians. Alongside Vashek, I got Bianca, I got Felix, I got Milos, and I got Jeannie. Guys, thanks for coming in. I have not been this excited for any episode that we have done. It's a good one. Yes. Uh -huh. um, I'm feeling I'm... overwhelmed by all the Canadians yeah. around me right now, in all honesty. And today, Vashik, you are not going to be my co-host. You're going to be joining your fellow Canadians, and I'm going to be asking a few questions from the hat. All right, first one. Does anyone else play a musical instrument? I'm learning how to play the piano during quarantine so I can like be little backup in the background. You have a real piano or a keyboard? No, I just ordered a keyboard. It's like right there. Felix, you play the piano, don't you? Hey, no jokes, oh. you can start a band, bro. All right, it's starting here. I like this. Honestly, how sick Who's that vocals be? though? Yeah, who can sing? Who can sing? I mean, I, I'm actually okay. Yeah, I say Bianco be our singer. Milos, how are you contributing to the new Canadian band here? Um, I'm the... Tour manager. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that though. The tour manager with the best hair. I like it. All right, well, let's recapture it. Since Bianca is lead vocals for this for this band right now, can you sing one lyric from a Justin Bieber song? Baby, baby, baby. Lead singer, that's our girl. <laughs> Baby, baby, no. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret this, Vashik? If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. I can take you places you ain't never been before. It. Baby, take a chance or you never ever know. I got money in my hand <laughs> that I really Nice. That's that's really sick. Like that's good. Good. Felix, I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you this one. Which person out of this group has the best fashion sense? Best fashion sense? <laughs> Best obviously, fashion obviously. sense. Obviously. Stop pointing at yourself. Obviously. No, it's gonna be. No. Obviously. It can't be you. It can't be you. <laughs> Come on, bro. Here we go, Jeannie. Yes! First award of the day. I won it. What's the biggest myth about Canadians that you would like to correct? Oh, my God. Oh, maybe that we say A. A, like. No, we say uh, A a lot. You do no, say A. I <laughs> say A. Do I that's say A? That's not a myth. I think that's a myth. I think that's a little bit of a myth. I think maybe Not like... in my book. Big question here. Big question here, Milos. Who has the best hair? Uh, can we give ourselves titles? Yes. yes. That, is, <laughs> okay. that, is that is entirely acceptable. I knew you oh would say God. that. But tell me, like, your hair always looks perfect on the court. Like, how much product do you use? Like, what's the morning routine? Like, tell, tell I me I think that, that might be one of the biggest myths. Uh, there isn't much <laughs> that goes into it. If you could describe everyone in this group in one word, each person, one word. What would you say about them? So start with Jeannie, one word. Okay, stylish. Stylish, because I said best fashion. I'll take it. Vashek, uh, funny. Hey, thanks, bro. Milo, smart guy. That's two words, Thank doesn't you. count, Void. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart guy, I said smart. 
Smart is one Smart. word. Okay. The couch. Bianca is just the vibe, you know, like the vibe. Vibe. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Go. Hey, Bianca, I heard your uh, music. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, channeling my inner beat maker. I actually am on SoundCloud. Okay. Yeah, I gotta like, give you a follow. Chill hip hop beats, yeah. Okay, so Bianca, I think you can answer this next question then. And I don't know if this is, um, if you're gonna be willing to, but we'll see. Which of this group has the worst taste in music? Uh, Milos, I don't know what you listen to. I feel like you're like an EDM kind of guy. Ooh, far from it. Far from <laughs> it. <laughs> Jazz? Well, okay, Milos, what kind I of guy actually, that one? I would say I probably have the worst music taste. Is it using the flute? <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, like, like, what, what's your musical choice? Here? Oldies. Vashik, <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, what do you listen to? What do I listen to? Uh, indie, rock, alternative. Mini, what do you listen to? Uh, I do like hip hop and other stuff, but yeah, you know, everything. Oh, I like country now. I'll I like, say, I like, every once in a while I'm in a country I like Chris mood. Stapleton. I'm not gonna, I like Chris hate Stapleton. On I'm not hating on country, but that's not my vibe. Are Canadians really as nice as we Americans think? Nicer. Do you think you're nicer than us? No, we think we're nicer than people think we are. As that nice would imply as that we're think. arrogant. <laughs> 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 All right, Vashik, I feel like you're gonna have the last question um, yeah. because uh, rumor has it that this is something that you use often. Okay. What does maple syrup go best with? Coffee, tennis, uh, waffles, pancakes, uh, 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 oatmeal, cereal, chips. Uh, You're chips. crazy. Okay, thanks guys, that was pretty good. I feel like I learned a lot about my neighbors to the north. I appreciate it. Those are all the questions that I have for you. Thanks for participating. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. All right, guys, uh, this is such a privilege for me. Honestly, two of the greatest athletes ever, both Canadian, both need no introduction. Steve Nash, Wayne Gretzky, thanks for joining, guys. Thank you. Pleasure. Yeah, so uh, I know both of you are actually uh, tennis fans. Both of you are into tennis. I um, just wanted to talk about you know, what got you into, into the sport. Uh, initially and, and just what you enjoy about the game. We can start with, with you, Wayne. Well, for me, it was pretty easy. I think that uh, I go all the way back to Wimbledon when McEnroe and Borg were playing those classic matches, uh, either semifinals or finals. The emotion, uh, how high it was, and uh, more importantly, the quality of play and uh, how competitive both guys were. And so uh, even if you weren't a huge tennis fan at the time, my goodness, it was so much fun to watch. Uh, there was so much skill involved, there was so much emotion that was involved, and uh, that was easy for me. I, I watched those guys play and it really uh, gave me a, uh, a reason to watch the sport. Uh, I didn't play as a child growing up a whole lot, but now I get an opportunity to play, and as you know, it's one of the great sports in the world. Which rivalry did you prefer if you, know, you bring up McEnroe and Borg? How about like the or the rivalries today, which which stand up to your... Well, McEnroe Borg is a unique rivalry because it was more in my era. So I, I'm probably a little bit more comfortable with that. But if you can see a uh, Roger Federer, uh, Nadal final, and Djokovic is pretty good, but there's something about Nadal and uh, Federer playing and competing for a championship. For me, that gets my blood flowing and I can't wait to watch it. For me, they all bring something different and exciting to the table. You know, I think Roger started out being so mesmerizing. He's a great athlete, but he also has so much variety, beautiful strokes. You know, he, he, he slices the backhand, he comes over top of it hard, he finds angles. You know, the forehand is, you know, is, is obviously mastery, but then he has to serve the volleys and all the variety in between. And, you know, whereas Rafa, I think when he started playing, you thought, well, this guy's just a beast of an athlete and he's mentally as tough as anyone we've seen yeah. maybe in any sport. But as the years go by, you realize, like, I don't know if I've ever seen Rafa miss a volley. Like, he's just, it's, he's an umber, he's an artist too. And then you look at Djokovic, the way he moves, his flexibility, his consistency, to beat him, if he's playing at his best, to beat him is almost impossible. Like, he takes you, you know, he makes you hit so many extra balls and then he puts so much pressure on you to hit the lines. You know, he's just, a, he, you know, in his own right, as good as anyone we've ever seen. So it, it's just fun to see the way that three guys in this era, but going back through the years, how many guys, you know, they find a different way to get it done. And that's what makes the sport beautiful. 
it's so exciting and that's what it's all about and that's what we live for and we sit around and we talk about who is the best team ever and who is the greatest players ever nobody has the defined answer it's what you believe in your heart the athletes themselves they just got to go out there and be the best player they can be and then be the best team you can be and then let other people sit around and debate okay who's better who do you think which team what era but that's what makes sports fun. We, nobody has a real answer to it. We all just want to try to solve the problem. All right, guys, we're going to switch our focus a little bit to Bianca Andreescu, who was the first singles Grand Slam champion uh, in Canada. Uh, what are your thoughts on her rise? Uh, I got to see her play in her very first match at uh, uh, Palm Springs in uh, the year she won the US Open. And she, we saw her first match and I remember watching the match thinking, my gosh, that's one of the hardest working athletes I've ever seen in my life. And as the story goes, she went on to win the tournament, her first big win. She went to the US Open and, you know, to play in front of all those fans and everyone cheering for their American girl and one of the great athletes of all time, it was pretty special. And I, I, my hat goes off to her how she handled herself and how she handled the pressure. She also has that intangible that you're playing Serena Williams, the greatest of all time, in the U.S. Open final. She wins the first set. She's on fire. To be able to feel that momentum swing so far the other way, where you're totally on top. Now, not only are you looking eye to eye with Serena, but you've lost all momentum to the greatest of all time. And for her to like take a deep breath and you know go for winners and and not stop playing and still have that personality, like that's special. Yeah, and it's not actually just the women's side that, that people are excited about in Canada, but uh, also the men's side with Felix Ojealiasim, Dennis Shapoval, two young guns. What are your thoughts uh, on those two coming up? Well, first of all, uh, I admire both of them and I uh, got to know uh, Dennis a little bit more than Felix, but we, we were lucky enough to be at the Canadian Open when Dennis had his run. Uh, we were at the Nadell match, which was so exciting. My wife kept hitting me a little bit saying that uh, every time you cheer for Dennis, Nadell's watching you. So I had to kind of back down a little bit. All right, guys, very last question. What was your favorite match that you've seen live or on TV? I think for me, it would be the Borg McEnroe match when, when uh, John won his first Wimbledon. You know, watching those two play, I could watch them every single day because A, they were both so great, right? But B, they were so different. One was quiet, one went around his work methodically. The other guy was, let's say, chaotic. Well, Johnny Mack and I played golf and we all get frustrated, we all curse, we all now, I don't throw clubs, but the odd guy will throw a club. But even on the golf course, nobody can throw a club and curse like Johnny Mack. <laughs> There's something really special about it, right? Um, so for me, it was always watching a Borg McEnroe match. Those memories have faded a little bit for me. I was pretty, pretty, pretty young. Uh, but uh, so the one that the one that jumps to mind is is. Uh, it is probably almost cliche, but for a reason is is Federer and Nadal at Wimbledon. Um, yeah. You know, that went on forever and it was dark, but it was unbelievable tennis, unbelievable drama. You know, two guys who just didn't want to lose, or I should really say two guys who really wanted to win and wouldn't let themselves lose. And, and it's it's almost like, uh, you know, if there ever was a draw in tennis, that, that was a draw. Well, guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, this is by far the highlight of my quarantine <laughs> by far guys thanks so much thanks stevie you, you got, got it great great day. Day. be great safe day. everyone all right you too thanks guys see you guys let's see what we are working with. we got a few players we got a few fans let's check these videos out yes i oh. saw this one this is the 100 double yesterday. rope challenge I mean, Vashik, okay. how do you feel when you get on the court then against a guy like this, who's just like phenomenal shape, just did a hundred double jump ropes in a row, and now you got to go play a match against him and try to beat him in best of five? It would have been, it would be a lot better if I hadn't seen this video. Of this <laughs> <jumps. laughs> Kasakita walk on. This is actually pretty epic. I like this with the, Wait, little, is, the digital background. Hey, how, how did you do that? <laughs> I mean, there's apps for pretty much everything. Wow. That is insane. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trick shots from Monfils. I am not surprised at all here. One but of, definitely I, the I, most, one of the most entertaining players to watch. 
He's very relaxed. <laughs> He's a fun guy to practice with. Yeah. That's for sure. He seems He's like not it. very fun to play against for me. Yes. Practice, <laughs> yes. Matches, probably not. Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to talk to you about these new chips I found. They're so tasty. Um, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> these are like flavor blasted, like cheddar. So tasty. Um, these ones are like jalapeno, a little spicy, uh, if you're into that. <clears throat> Let's see, these, oh, I think these must be my fave. They're like sour cream and onion flavored. You know, they really get you. When's the last time um, you ate a raw veggie? And these are- uh, When's the last time I had a raw veggie? Yes. Just- uh, you know, Probably a couple days ranch, before quarantine started. <laughs> Coco this flying a kite Coco. for the first time. Legit looks like a little flying kid a flying a kite Aww. for the first time. Holy, how fast is she running? How excited is she? Oh my god. <laughs> she covered the length of like two football fields there, first of all. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Stable tennis? Oh, look at this guy volleying on his high horse. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I saw this one. This is pretty impressive. I did not actually. see this Yes, one, behind the back, oh, winner. Come on cool. now. <laughs> I definitely don't think guy? that is a legal size, but uh, who knows? Who's Maybe this guy and why isn't he on the tour? <laughs> Him and Monfils, man. Come on. This is, this is this. my favorite video. Look at this guy. One, because there's a dog in it. I love dogs. That's amazing. Um, this this uh, pup reminds me of Leighton Chewett. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 that's not more good. like more like more like <laughs> Boris Barker if we're Boris Barker. Be. He's dying, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe Andre Wagasi. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan Boyich. Okay. Love this guy. This is okay. the trick shot. This is the true trick shot. This this master. is the trick shot master, right? This is the guy I was telling you about. Did you follow him yet? I did follow him. Yes, he's a he's unbelievable. Yeah, he's incredible. Oh, this is cool. This okay, this is cool. I saw is this one. I saw this one. Come on now. I saw this one. He's clearly. He's playing a very some ridiculous penis. notes with his right hand, keeping the tennis ball alive with his left hand. I appreciate the slippers, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole outfit More ensemble, cute. the sweatband. It's pretty good. It's really impressive. All right, I appreciate this. I appreciate that. Post of the week. Vashik, you have to make a decision. I think I know what you're gonna pick. My post of the week, to everyone's surprise, <laughs> is the dog video. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Big, I love, I mean, this is definitely the post of the week for me. It's not, hands down. Oh, tasty. Personally, um, I liked Jeannie's little post. I think she's always pretty geez. funny. Like, she's pretty like sarcastic. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like kind of super pumped to find out what so chips tasty. she was gonna eat. I mean, I'm like a big foodie. The carrot kind of looked like a Cheeto. And I, then I was like, kept listening and I was like, she, oh, yeah. veggies. We have another Canadian in the house with us, Gabby Dabrowski. Gabby, have you been practicing a lot? Have you been keeping up your training or were you one of those players that kind of took some time off and took it a little easy? No, I said peace to tennis. So I was like, <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> I want a break. I feel like you're living your best quarantine life right now. What have you been doing uh, to keep busy? I've tried to take up golf. It was put a little bit on the back burner the last couple of weeks because I started to play a little bit more tennis, but I'm putting tennis back on the back burner and golf is gonna take over soon, so. So you're a righty. I know a lot of tennis players are actually lefties because of their two-handed backhand. Did you try lefty golf swing so, initially or? So that was my first day. And that first day I only had righty clubs, but the next time I played, I was a lefty. So I, you're right, actually, I am a lefty, <laughs> I think, I think. I'm not good enough to really know what side I'm on, like for sure, but um, I, I felt like it was, you know, similar to a backhand swing and I felt more yes. comfortable on that side. So I think, yes. you know, when, when I play again, I'll, I'll be using the lefty clubs. I, I know you're on player council right now and with everything going on, I mean, this is really unprecedented time. There's nothing in the rule book, but you gotta be, you gotta be crazy busy with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it's definitely been very time consuming, but um, everyone's putting in a lot of effort. Um, you know, we've got these all player meetings uh, Thursday night and Friday mornings. And so 
you can keep all the players educated about stuff that's going on. And uh, so I'm glad that they've added that in too, because I think communication with the players is really important. So everybody's kind of on the same page and they know what's going on and they're not left in the dark. No, and I, you know, like you, I think there's a lot of players right now that are taking advantage of this time to do some good. And right now we're celebrating with Madison Keys. She's having her Kindness Wednesday. And I think it's, you know, all these, all these initiatives are amazing right now. And this one's pretty cool. You get a chance to kind of post and tag about the things that you're doing or that other people are doing and give a little shout out and sort of spread the good vibes. Yeah, that's so awesome. What a great initiative. I mean, now especially, we, a lot of us are quarantining and that's, you know, for the benefit of other people, not necessarily ourselves. So I think that says a lot about the mindset of the world right now. And I think uh, it's, it's such a great initiative that Madison's put forward. So yeah, hashtag Kindness Wednesday. Gabby, thanks so much for coming on for this show and thanks for, for all those words. And seriously, keep up the, the good fight on the player council. Um, you're doing an amazing thanks. job for all of us. So, But really appreciate you coming on and chatting with me. No problem. Thanks for having me. I am now going to transition back into co-host with Bethany. We got a couple never have I ever questions. Raise your hand if it's a yes. Okay, never have I ever strung my own racket. I have. How long did it take you? Are you, I, like, were you the one of those 25 minute, like you were good to go? When I was in my prime, I could get sub 30. Damn, prime. all right. <laughs> what? When was, when was your prime? 12 years old? No, I remember it was uh, when I was much younger. It was a drop weight too. Oh, technical. Yeah, one of those drop Okay, weights. never have I ever almost missed a match. Almost missed? In, in the past year, yep. <laughs> which, which, <laughs> how? Which match? Okay, it was doubles, first of all. They always scheduled us at 2.30 every day, and for some reason in the semis, they scheduled us at 2, and I didn't really look at the schedule. So we hit at the same time, even though the match was half an hour earlier. I was at Panera Bread with my mom, and my coach texted me at like 1.45, like, hey, you're playing at 2.00. And I was like, I had like face full of sandwich. Like it was not pretty. I had a tournament. Um, I, this is like when I was 12 or 13. I go in my bag to put on my shoes to start warming up. My shoes weren't there, like my tennis shoes. It was like in the middle of nowhere, right? So I ended up playing with my opponent's extra pair of tennis shoes. Uh, <laughs> that was nice. And her feet, her feet were bigger than mine too. Yeah. By the way. I was playing under 14 nationals in Vancouver and I was playing ping pong all day, like all day. And I didn't, I don't know, I forgot about my match or something. I thought it was later. <laughs> got lost in the pool. You got into it. And I'm assuming Milos, with your silence, like you've never even come close to missing a match. Not that I can recall. The most professional person out here. Next question, here we go. Never have I ever skipped a pre-match warm-up. I have. Well, just in my like Panera Bread case, uh -huh. obviously, I skipped my pre-match <laughs> So everyone's just gone straight onto the match. No warm-up. Yeah, sometimes I'm too nervous to do anything. So I just, like, go at it. And that's how you get injured. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never have I ever cried after a win. Okay. Only the girls, only the emotional ones, right? <laughs> Guys, tap into your emotions. Come on. You guys really have it? I have. I did once. Vashik, you definitely have cried after a win. I, I, I did one time, yeah. Uh, next one. All right. Never have I ever woken up and forgotten what city I was in. Oh, like, all the time when I nap. This is a frequent <laughs> occurrence. Even in quarantine, bro. Even in quarantine. I'm like, where am I? Oh, yeah. I've been here for three months straight. Never mind. <laughs> Never have I stolen a keepsake from a tennis tournament. So like, never what have you stolen that? like, like you know, let's say there's a nice little coffee mug. I have two Milos, I got you, bro. Wait, do towels count though? Cause like... Well, towels and juniors count cause they tried to take them back really quickly. Well then, all yeah. of us, bro, wow. everyone. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Never have I ever gotten a speeding ticket driving. I mean, I don't drive yet, so. Plenty of them. Milos, how many? Probably like what over 60? 20, 30 tickets? I don't know. What? Okay. 20, 30 tickets? 
No, the problem when driving in Europe is that the threshold is very low and it's all camera systems on the highway. So even if you're speeding four kilometers an hour over, they will mail you a ticket. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Last one, guys. And you gotta be honest about this one. Never have I ever used my celebrity to book a reservation. Always. Obviously. <laughs> Not always, but like... <laughs> I've well, I don't do it myself. I'll have someone else do it so I don't seem that like conceited, oh, you know. Yeah. Bro, I've pretended like I was my agent to book something. Oh, okay. oh I've done That's that good. too. That's good. Like, okay, so you have. So many so times. Okay, okay, so you have. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. client needs to get in tonight <laughs> at 7 p.m. Oh, yeah. I guess I have it. Felix is like, damn, I gotta get on this. <laughs> I gotta get on that. Felix is like, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I didn't know you could do that, that guys. <laughs> I was just like, I would oh, show up God. and go in the line. I would just like wait up. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, guys, thanks. That was, those are all the questions we have. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Thanks for having me, guys. All right, gang, that is a wrap. How did you like our Canadian special edition Tennis United show? Vashik, what'd you think? Well, this was definitely my favorite for obvious reasons. Uh, I had a great time. Um, we'll have to do an American one coming up soon. I mean, I feel like you're a little biased, but yes, we can uh, maybe <laughs> next couple of weeks I'm gonna put the request in for an All-American. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys keep tagging us. Hashtag them tennis at home, home court. So we can check out all your videos. And make sure to tune in next Friday. See you next week.